problem that Indonesian um, digital talent still have to face is they are not ready to go into the job market after they gra- uh, graduated from university. Can you guarantee uh, after they finish the banking program, they can right away work in a startups or tech company in Indonesia or they still need to be nurtured by the company before they're joining probably three month probation or education. Can you guarantee yeah. that the, your graduates can work right away after they finish the program? Well, I wish oh. I could guarantee you know, there's, no, there's, no, there's no guarantees in life, as you know, it's funny. Right. You know, we met with Minister Nadim a while back and he said the same thing. He said, I want right. to to be a program that guarantees that anybody that does it gets a job at like one of the best companies. And I'm like, okay, well, well, you know, what I, what I, what we're committed to um, is ensuring that we provide an opportunity to every one of the 3,001 people that we've admitted into the program. There's an opportunity for them to gain access to the knowledge and the skills that they need to, we think, you know, very well prepare them for opportunities in tech um yeah no there are you know there are no guarantees but right. uh there's a big emphasis uh in in Bankit on on encouraging and supporting all the students to work on these soft skills right so um we for example this year are, are partnered uh with stanford university uh in the united states they have a program called the university innovation fellows program Um, which is uh, which is uh, basically about imparting design thinking methodology and skills to students uh, for them, you know, to, to be able to transform how education happens in a country. So as part of Bankit, uh, we've brought we brought this program of Stanford into Indonesia. So we have 15 partner universities uh, that are supporting us in Bankit as kind of host universities, if you will. And each of those partner universities is going to is going to ultimately end up with four university innovation fellows that will be in the Stanford program from next year. Okay, mm. uh, so uh, so the way it will happen is from the 3,000 students that we have in Bankit, there will be a process of identifying people that we will nominate to Stanford to become fellows, uh, and then each university will nominate four students, and if they're accepted by Stanford. They will join the global community of university innovation fellows, right? This is one way that we're going to, you know, ensure that we take things like design thinking skills and embed them into universities going forward, right? But inside the Banca curriculum itself, uh, we have sessions on persuasive leadership, on time management, on critical thinking, on you know all all of the you know all the skills that that in our experience. You need to have if you're going to succeed, uh, not only in getting hired by these companies, but if you're going to succeed in your career, you need to have these attributes, right? So we've built the curriculum in an interdisciplinary way so that we can impart these skills and then give people an opportunity to practice those skills throughout the course of the 18 weeks. So, for example, next week, they're going to start to learn about how to be persuasive leaders. Now, that's a good skill to have whether you're going to lead a small team or whether you're not even going to lead a team, but occasionally you need to persuade people of your ideas in a company, right? What we find is that young people tend to be very shy and not very vocal and not very structured in how they uh, go about persuading people of ideas, right? Uh, so we're going to start to give them those skills next week, but they'll have to put those into practice towards the end of the program when they have to present their final project for us to consider which ones are going to get funded with seed funding to go forward, right? right? So that's just one example, right? But there's going to be multiple opportunities for the students to both gain the requisite skills and then put them into practice throughout the course of the curriculum. Does that guarantee okay. that they'll get a job? No, it doesn't. <laughs>